Hey, I'm Jonas, and in this video, I'll show you how to create an account in Dragon Nest C from either your mobile device or your PC. Creating an account from both your PC as well as your mobile device is the same. All you have to do is go to your browser and go to this link right here which is, c.dragonnest.com slash main, and if you don't want to type that, I've put the link in the video description and pinned comment down below. Once you've opened the website, on the top right corner of the screen, click the button sign up, which is right over here. You have to click on it, and then it will ask you for your email, password, and date of birth, and once you click on it, you'll have to enter a valid email address. I recommend using Gmail or Yahoo Mail. Once you've entered your email address, click validate, and you'll receive a prompt message that your email is valid and doesn't have a duplicate or that your email isn't already in use. The next step is to enter your password, and then confirm your password just by retyping what you entered in the first password field box. After that, enter your birth date. Then below the birth date, you'll see two check boxes. You'll only need to tick the box that says, I agree to the term of use and privacy policy. If you want to receive a newsletter from Dragon Nest, tick that box, and finally click on sign up. Then it will show you this page that they've sent an email containing the verification link to your created account, so go to your mail and check the link. As you can see, the account verification email has arrived. Open the mail. After that, you'll see the purple click here button, press right click on the button, then click the open link in the new tab, and once you've visited the link, type your email and password that you used when signing up. After entering your email and password, click login, then you'll be redirected to a page that says, complete. Your email confirmation is completed. Now you can access Dragon Nest web and game service. And there you have it. You have successfully created a Dragon Nest account. You can now log in and play Dragon Nest C. But some people cannot create an account successfully, and some always ask me how to fix it. First, let's address the problem. There are two problems I get complaints about when creating an account. First is when you're signing up for an account. After clicking the sign up button, they're prompted with an error message saying that you have exceeded the number of accessible accounts per IP. The second one is after clicking the sign up button. They're redirected to a page that says page request timeout. Please try again. To solve this problem, search hide all IP in Google. Go to the website and click download. After downloading the program, run the installer and finish the installation process. After the installation is done, now, launch the program. You'll see different IP address on the program, just connect to your desired IP address. Then on the shortcuts tab, click Safe Chrome, and click on the Run It button. From this point, you'll now be able to create an account successfully without any problems. Bonus tip. If the VPN free trial expires, I have a way to renew the free trial. Search Registry Finder on Google. Then download the installer for 32-bit and 64-bit. Then after that, open the installer. Finish the installation process, then close the installer after installation is completed, and don't open the program yet. Go to your desktop, right-click Registry Finder, and click Run as Administrator. Now find and click the search icon on the top bar of the program, or press and hold the control key on your keyboard, then press F. On the search bar, type hide all IP without spaces like this, then click fine. Wait until the program finishes scanning, then after that, press Ctrl plus A to select all instances and press delete. Then go back to your desktop, right click hide all IP and click properties. Go to the compatibility tab, tick this box and select Windows 7, then click apply.
Finally, open the Hide All IPVPN, and you'll see that your VPN free trial is now renewed. That's all for this guide. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section below. Before you go, please like this video, and subscribe to the channel for more informational and helpful videos like this. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.